Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines in our beautiful city. In the previous episode we built the nuclear power plant you can see right here. It is obviously still not done. In order to make this more realistic we are going to need lots more. Especially we're going to need a water source for the cooling. But in today's episode I would like to tend to something else, namely adding more stadiums. The basic idea was to expand Neptune across the highway here and set up a stadium place right next to the Olympus district, also allowing people to cross from Olympus to Neptune Falls and vice versa. So instead of people having to take the highway all the time, they can also just go directly across here. Now in order to accomplish this, we might want to move the rails a bit further, though I need to keep in mind that we're going to need at least space for one pillar. Also, there's this tram route in the way. I actually wonder. Yeah, I'm going down at this point. This tramway is basically only to transfer the trams over to the other district. I might eventually tear this line down and just set up another tram depot in this district. I think that might be worth it. The tram depot is only 768 per week, so we can definitely afford that. Actually, I think this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up my tram depot here. Why is that not possible? I can set it up here. That's good enough. And we want to continue the tram into this road. That should be fine. With that out of the way, we should be able to remove this tram line right here. I don't need you anymore. I need the space, rather. We can get rid of the line all the way to the Olympus district. And I should still have access. Let me see. Can they? Yeah, they can turn around. Alright, that is good enough in my opinion. I'm now going to drag the train lines all the way over so we have a little bit more space here. You pointed out it would be a horrible scenario to go to uni right next to the train lines, especially if they're only two meters away. So just give me a second in order to accomplish that. I'm gonna be right back. Said and done, we tucked all the train tracks against the highway. Now I want to make a connection right here. This is the perfect spot to bring over vehicles and possibly public transport. And then maybe I'm also going to use this pathway to make a pedestrian crossing. But let me first check again which stadium we're going to use. Oh yes, I remember. I was going for the track and field stadium. So this is going to take up an awful lot of space. And obviously we don't want the noise pollution to trickle over into the residential areas. So before we do anything else, let's try to set this up and see if we can place it here, for instance. How would that look? We could also have a nice connection to the Olympus district right here, and there would be another connection coming from this road. Now I wonder, could I just swap this track and then continue the road? We want to upgrade this part to two lanes with tram tracks. And then at this point we can just continue with a normal road. Why the heck not? Let's say we bring this road all the way to the highway as well. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Now can we make this happen somehow? Where are you setting up the pillars? Okay, that should technically be possible. Let's try to do it without the snapping. Yes. That was just what I was hoping for. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out. Let's try it. So we're coming down here with a nice ramp joining up with the roundabout. We're gonna continue this rope for a little bit and now I'm probably gonna need the space. Uh, let me see, can I set it up here? Yeah, there we go. This works out nicely in my opinion. So now I'm gonna take myself the time to smooth this out as good as possible and kind of hide the ugly edges there. Come on, you can do it. Just go away. Nice, okay, already a hundred times better. Now just a few tiny mistakes that I'm still gonna fix, especially in this region. I want to first try to bring down the terrain a little bit to give us leeway and then we're going to use the smooth it tool and stop right before it would make these unrealistic edges again. Okay, that is actually good enough. We're going to set up a bunch of rocks and trees in order to hide the last line that is definitely squarish. And maybe to make this better, we're going to sink the road just a tiny bit and also set up some parking spots on the other side. Let's go with the large light parkings for this. Um, how is this turning out? Yeah, this is kind of floating. Okay, not good. Back into the terrain tool, we're gonna flatten out the area for the parking spaces. And now hopefully we can set up a bunch of these. I wanna have something in between, such as a pathway and maybe continue to a park. So I'm gonna try to set up a pathway here and also one in the center if I can. We are still floating here a little bit. Let's maybe go into the small trees. We can make some kind of a tree line to hide this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the same trees we have here alongside the road. 
and we're gonna try to fill this up. Also another tree line along here and now we cannot see that it is technically floating a meter or so above the ground. To make it a little less aggressive along the pathway here, I'm just gonna go with small bushes. Okay, nice. I can actually live with that. The only thing we have to do now to make it functional is connect it with this road and also this road. Let me try to think of something here. There we go. Everything is set up. We should be able to continue this. I also made sure to expand the university district so this is actually contained in it. It is now time to unpause the game. Now the thing about this is we are at the moment losing 28k. However, if we win matches, which hopefully we do more than 50%, we are making more money. So technically this should all work out. Though, actually, hold on. One more thing I wonder. Could we just continue the tram track? Let me see. This is going here. Oh, this would be perfect, actually. We could continue the tram track all the way to here and then possibly even continue in the future. I mean, this place here eventually is also going to be something. Dude, we still have so much to do in this series. Yeah, let's freaking do it. It's going to make the road a little bit uglier. But in terms of public transport, it's definitely going to be worth it. Unfortunately, the tram cannot turn around at this point. So it's just going to make a little loop-de-loop -loop until we continue the track. All right, nice. This actually also means we don't need this loop-de-loop -loop anymore. I'm just going to drag this station all the way over to here. Uh, let's do it here. And I'm actually going to add another station here. I'm not sure this is really worth it, but... I feel a little better about it. Let's now get rid of this loop-de-loop -loop and we want to expand the area. Oh, actually, this is already registered as zoned. We're talking about the Olympus line. Currently, we have five vehicles. Let me see. Can we improve on that? Uh, they wanted nine. I'm not sure nine are really necessary. Let's go with seven and then we shall see how many people actually really make use of this line. Whoop, I almost forgot we needed a couple of stops here as well. Of course, I don't want to get rid of these completely. The next match is going to be in two in-game months. We are called Neptuni Broncos. I just love that. It's the year 2207. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, gotta love this. Uh, let me check something. Frame rate dropped down again. Oh man. 16 FPS. That's exactly how it feels like. It shouldn't take long for Neptuni to upgrade. It's just this one academic work that is still missing. I gave them a grant. And as soon as that happens, we can expand the university district too. Before we continue, we should check the vitals of our city. We are currently actually doing pretty good here. Also, in terms of traffic, we are doing excellent, I would say. We're making tons of money at the moment. Yeah, pretty darn cool. Oh, hold on. I think it just happened. There we go. We have reached the next level. We already have enough students, but of course we need a lot more attractiveness now. Very well. In this case, we're going to continue with our pathing system. I want to page up at this point. Gonna cross over here, gonna cross over here, make our way across here as well. And at this point, we can uh, possibly join with the ground again. Wanna bring the pathway all the way over to here and they can use the crossing immediately if they want to. But I wanna make sure this is actually really close to the road. Maybe we're gonna set up a railing or a fence to make this more realistic. We also want to complete this pathway, make it look a bit better. And now it's time to fix this building. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just way too high up. Yeah, you need to go down much better. Ah, look at this, I don't even have to do any extra work. Everything got adapted. Of course, now this pathway looks a little bit weird. Let me bring this up. Gonna make this straight. Come on. I want this thing to go away. Thank you. Yeah, you have to get the pathways just right so it doesn't add any of these interruptions. I'm gonna do the same thing with this building, just bring it down to the ground. Actually, everything gets removed around it as well. This was so convenient. And now I can expand the pathway so people can also use the bridge if they really want to. Nice, that's working out for me. Let's get back into universities and see what new buildings we have. For instance, the bookstore. Is this really new? Uh, yeah, I don't see it anywhere. So we want to place this guy here. Uh, this is the gymnasium, isn't it? No, it is the university library, so the bookstore right next to it is actually a perfect choice. Let me try to get this right. I want to have this as close as possible to the other building and also the pathway. And obviously we need to lower it slightly until the parking spaces are clearly visible. Then next up we have the university laboratories. Now should we continue here a little bit or ah, actually there is more space. Yeah, looking at the model of the building, I think this would fit nicely in here. So let me just place this here. And obviously we'll have to do some move it shenanigans. 
looking at this, something is going horribly wrong. Do I have to go up or down? Maybe let's just use the pathway to do the fixes. Or maybe even a better idea, we're just gonna push it against this pathway. Something like that seems to add up a bit nicer. Just bring this road down, okay, and bring this down slightly too. Uh, come on. Okay, that, that is much better. I think this is acceptable. What else are we missing? There is the auditorium. I would love to fit the auditorium right in here, but before we do that, there are more buildings we need to fix. This needs to come down. Same thing with the outside study. This needs to be adapted. Maybe I can go up just a tad more. And then we're gonna fit the auditorium in here. I'm just gonna place it wherever I can and we're gonna move it over. So you go approximately here. Is this... I mean, it's overlapping, but not visually, right? And all we have to do to make this a little bit better is find the middle ground on the height of the pathways. Okay, nice. What else do we have? We have the academic statue. I think I already had that. Uh, isn't that an academic statue? Okay, so we placed all the new buildings we currently have, which brings us up to attractiveness of 1185. So tons and tons more to go. So if I place another statue here, this is giving me almost 100 attractiveness. That's not too shabby. What about placing another dormitory? I want to know what that gave me. Ah, not much, not much. Just like 25 or so. At the moment we have spaces for 6,000 students. So I guess this is not really necessary. Let's go with more of these park structures. Like we could fit another fountain in here. Just placing it there and moving it over. Just like that. This looks a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cover this up. I don't think I can do much with the terrain tool. We could definitely also use this area just to get some more attractiveness points. I'm just gonna bring another fountain over here, for instance. Okay, come on. I don't want any trees to clip over into the stadium. That should be good enough. Still, obviously, it's gonna need tons of decorations to make the edges less harsh. But my main goal right now is to bring up this attractiveness. You guys, I'm gonna give you another academic statue. You're welcome. And then I also want to check how many attractiveness points I'm getting from clubs. Let me see. At the moment we have 1460. If I place another math club, for instance, we get up to 1535. So that is definitely better than the dormitory. Yeah, let me move this slightly over and this way we can expand the pathways even more. Seemingly joining up with this building as well. And then we are also going to take a sneaky path to the next exit here, the train station. So this is going to allow people to actually utilize the train in order to get into the university district. Which at the moment, I mean, this train is being used a lot, isn't it? Yeah, we have 584 passengers a week. It doesn't sound much, but it is a lot in this game, as you know. And... <laughs> Well, setting up the helicopter thing, I don't know if that was a really good idea. They just love using the helicopters. We have 500 people waiting at this station. I need them to take something else. I mean, you have plenty of opportunities, right? Going to high school. Yeah, they're all going to work. Oh, leaving the city even. Oh man, this is not good. Yeah, maybe I'm regretting it slightly taking the helicopter route this far. This shouldn't really be necessary, though they do have other opportunities. Yeah, we need to get back to this. This was definitely a failure. I think what I want to do is add another study hall. And we're just going to do it right here. This is still within the district. Well, it did count, but I'm going to expand it slightly. This is adding to my attractiveness, but at the same time, we are getting more points. And it does look kind of like a park. And I wanted to make a park here anyways. Uh, 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 I think we soon are going to see the match. Yeah, it's just like a week or so until they have a match. We need 250 more points. Should be achievable. I'm gonna go with another Futsal Club. <laughs> I love this word. And we'll have ourselves another academic statue on this side. Just 90 points to go. I think we can take another functional building. Uh, not a math club. But we're gonna go with another club if we have one. No. Huh, why not actually go with the museum? We have art gallery. This will probably go in the liberal arts college. And then we have the technology museum. I mean, it is slightly bigger. We could have it on this side to make this place even more attractive. Building must also be placed inside the campus area. Now, I'm not sure why that actually didn't work because that is a campus area. Okay, I guess we're gonna need a little road to make this work. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna add that right here. 
road is gonna go up to this point we can use it later on to continue our endeavors but did that actually help our neptune let me check no unfortunately that didn't add to the attractiveness what you're gonna do so instead what i did here is add another bookstore i want to bring this down slightly but that should have catapulted us above the threshold ah actually it did increase just by a tiny tiny amount all right oh actually another cafeteria this is perfect oh. gonna place that right here oh my gosh i'm gonna love this so much and then we just need another pathway we should really place way more cafeterias in general all over the world if you ask me so that goes right here perfect is it perfect though no this is <laughs> way too far up uh, there we go thank you i mean what would you do playing in vanilla without the move it mod i don't know anymore you would just make things look a lot uglier. There we go. We have the necessary attractiveness. We just need tons of academic works. But I think I can now just wait on that. We want to see the match. Is it already over? Uh, it should be tomorrow. So the next day we should see people playing. It is now the 19th. Hold on. Can we? No, I want to see people playing here. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. It actually works. <laughs> Yeah, run, run, you can do it, you can do it. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And wait, they just disappeared. We can even see the scores here. Looks like we have a lot of people actually interested in this. Oh my gosh, look at how they done this. Just with a 2D graphic. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely amazing. Did we already win or so? No, we cannot see that. The match day seems to be longer than a day, but I guess it's also a little bit tight. Alright, I'm coming back from the editing part and even though we haven't reached the 20 minutes mark, usually I'm actually going for 15 minutes, but mostly I end up with a lot more footage in order to thematically wrap up an episode. But today I think we are gonna wrap it up right at this point. However, I still have a couple of hours in order to start recording the next episode right away. So that is good. So to wrap this up, let's get this into a nice frame. Oh, people are really excited. And we're gonna take a little snapshot here. Oh, look at that! They are actually doing the high jumps here as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> there was the starting shot. Okay, you can do it! Yes! Well done. Well done. You know, before I say goodbye, I actually want to see the outcome here. I mean, it's not technically a match. It's the Olympic Games. And I just noticed we have the Olympus District next to it. This is so great. Maybe this should be part of the Olympus District. Oh, this is amazing. Olympic Games. And the most amazing thing about this is that I only realized this right now. <laughs> Come on, I want to see something here. It looked like we we're winning, right? Yeah, people are still running around. They are still doing the high jumps. I want to see them do the far jump. Dude, I don't know what these categories are called in English. Let me actually know. These are probably words I want to add to my active knowledge of the language. And of course, there are actually two different types of high jumps, namely with the pole and without. Show me what you can do. Our team just did a fabulous job on this high jump. Come on, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And they fail. Oh, they failed. Wait, you jump below that. Why are you waving? How is the parking situation? Okay, they might need more parking, but they do have parking here and it's not even occupied. So maybe we have to wait a little bit for that to adapt the color scheme a little bit. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, check this out. People are moving out now, so we will be experiencing a lot more people on this tram line. And we can see we won. What? We only got 32,000. I mean, if we check the other stadiums, for instance here... Ah, okay, these are also losers. Damn it, these aquatic bastards. Well, at least we have a good football stadium, and I just saw this is actually the prize money we win, so uh, let me check. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. It doesn't actually say what amount we won with this. But I'm happy with the results of this episode anyways. Let's wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.